Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Sometimes people tell you it's too late to study. Today we're going to talk about this topic, but from the science perspective, like when is our brain too old to study? When we are too old to study? And I'm wearing this beautiful makeup today because I was shooting a cover for my book that's coming out in March, but coming out in Russian. But I'm going to keep you posted about the English version of it. I'm keeping you posted on Instagram. So if you're not yet subscribed, Lingua Marina, subscribe. And now we're going to talk about the age when you're too late to study. From a linguistics perspective, uh, when we talk about children, when we bring an Italian child to an American environment and uh, the child is four years old, when he's five years old, his English is perfect. He doesn't have an accent. He even replaces Italian with English. It's because our brain, when we're younger, it's a lot more flexible and it will learn faster. When somebody comes to America at the age of 35, I came to America at the age of 25 and I still have this accent and I would need maybe extra 10 years to get rid of it completely or maybe it would never happen. I see two reasons behind that. Reason number one is yes, our brain gets older. We have these neurons that form connections and these connections allow us to do scientific work, they allow us to create. And when we get older, there is less blood going to neurons and yes, they die, therefore we form less connections. Second reason is that when we grow up, we have this feeling that society already owes us, like, I've been an accountant for 10 years and now I started studying photography and I want people to respect me and I don't want to live with the feeling that I'm behind the class and I'm learning something new, that I'm not an expert. Like if you've been an expert for 10 years and then you're put into a place when you're not an expert, you're like, oh, I don't want to be there. I feel like, you know, I'm a bigger part of society. I want more respect. And this actually stops us. When you think about children, like this four-year-old Italian guy, when he comes to the kindergarten, he doesn't think about what this girl thinks about my accent. He just talks, he just enjoys. When we're 35 and we try to mimic American accent, we're like, oh, what does this guy think about me? Maybe I sound weird. Maybe, well, I sound weird to myself. So there is a lot of psychology behind that as well that prevents us from learning, from going into new environments. I will tell you a story that motivates me throughout my life. Well, I only found out about this story Five years ago, I have a great uncle. So he's Lola's father and Lola is my cousin, uh, whatever. So he's a distant relative. At the age of 50 something, he moved to America from the USSR with four kids with very bad English, but he's a really good scientist. So he, wasn't, he was invited to an American university to read lectures and he did it. And 30 years passed, uh, he has houses, he's a 10-year professor. Yes, he was scared. Yes, his relatives were like, how can you just immigrate at the age of 50? But for me, this is so inspiring. At the age of 50, he changed his life completely. He changed the life of his family. He went through a lot of hard times. They told me stories when Lola couldn't buy a t-shirt because it was like $1 and they didn't have a dollar. And when they had to share an apple uh, among four kids. Yes, there were a lot of hard times. But when I see his success now, you can actually uh, Google him. Uh, his name is Michael Anisimov. He's on Wikipedia. I tried to film him so many times for my vlogs, but he's like, no, 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 I have a Wikipedia page you can read everything about me but his story is so inspiring and I'm so honored to be like his distant relative. Story number two when I was applying for admissions uh, in America at the age of 24 in Russia at the age of 24 you would start a family you would have a kid you would not think about your education really in some well smaller cities it's changing but there is this society that tells you wow this is too late to study but when you go through this feeling that you're learning something new when you get this dopamine like when you learn something and you can apply it you're like oh my god this is happening so uh, and then I studied at the age of 27 I went to study filmmaking in LA um, now I'm studying how to write great text I'm not a journalist but I just love what's happening in, on Instagram when you can write a lot of great posts this is what I'm learning to do now I think the key here is to find something that motivates you to work every day like find something that is yours blogging coding you can actually watch a video about uh, top professions that are going to be in demand in future so something like this that would drive you and you would get rid of this society telling you what to do because guess what they're not responsible for your happiness if you're unhappy in 10 years they're gonna say huh this is your life deal with it yourself and now they're trying to give you advice sorry 
Second, when you have this thing that you really love, you will just be okay with feeling really bad about yourself. Like when I'm writing some posts and then I'm reading other bloggers, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so low level. But this just motivates me to work harder. And I'm 28, guess what? I'm still studying. So. I think age is nothing. Yes, it's harder for us to study when we're older, but again, we can train our brain, we can increase the blood flow into the brain uh, so it works. By the way, a great way to increase blood flow in your brain if you're learning English uh, is to attend our intensive course on tenses or American pronunciation. I'll leave two links below. This is on LinguaTrip, my company. I just recorded these two courses together with our teachers. Learn every day and you will preserve your brain for as long as you can. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I have a riddle for you. Start training your brain now. Turn me on the side and I'm everything. Cut me in half and I'm nothing. What am I? Don't look anywhere, just think for yourself. Don't look at the comments and write a comment below and see if you're right. Thank you so much for watching this up to the very end. Please subscribe to this channel. If you're not yet subscribed, hit like if you like this video and I'll see you soon in the next vlogs. Bye.